what's going on everybody so I wanted to do a video on a game I found on Steam which is this uh, so I keep up with gaming news and I didn't see this on any other websites uh, maybe I missed it but I mean I would figure if there was a Starship Troopers FPS game a brand new one that I don't know it would be on the front page of like polygon and all these other websites i haven't seen anything uh or i heard news about anything like this uh i just was somehow going search going through the search on steam and typing in like starship this and you know i was looking actually for more like of a uh what do you call it like a I don't know, a, kind of like a space-born RPG mixed with hex kind of thing. And I ran into this, um, a Starship Troopers FPS game. Now, there was a Starship Troopers game like a decade or two ago that was FPS. Didn't do so well. Um, but this, guys, you got to watch the video. Doesn't that look good? Wow. You can tell the difference in the weapons just by the sound. Oh, you can build! I forgot. Oh, man. That's pretty sick. So you can build your own base, in essence. Wow. Would you like to know more? So that is... <laughs> that's pretty huge. F-World Industries. Tristar. <laughs> oh, they did a Terminator thing. Terminator thing. Alright, so, yeah, guys, this looks very, very cool. Oh, man, I think that's pretty huge that you can actually build, you know? Oh, man. That takes the game up, like, a huge notch. Uh, so, it's planned for 2023, which is this year now. <laughs> Alright, so, drops up to 12 players right into the fight against the Bug Menace in the co-op. First-person shooters suit up and ship out uh, to a far-off uh, front as a trooper in the Deep Space Vanguard, an elite special forces group within the mobile infantry. It's up to squads like yours to battle against hundreds of bloodthirsty insectoid aliens and take back fallen colonies for the Federation. The only good bug is a dead bug. No trooper stands alone. As soon as the dropship hits the dirt, your trusty Morita assault rifle and fellow D-Space Vanguard troopers are all that will keep you alive. Exploring the hostile surface of planet Val Valkala. Work together to complete objectives, acquire resources, build and defend a base. I love that. And then to escape to extraction point together. So 12 players, 3 playable classes, assault, support, and defense. Construct walls, towers, ammo stations, and more using resources. That is freaking amazing. It's taking, like, the best out of, like, games like um, Imperium and adding it to this. Uh, unlock new weapons, equipment, perks for each class. Uh, become an elite warfighter. Or an early access encounter drone. Plasma grenadier. Try elite enemy bugs. Escalating infection levels, increasing bug threats during missions uh, bring bigger and more dangerous enemies to the fight. Large-scale battles. Ooh, a massive battle, a massive map with five unique zones and swarm-based combat with hundreds of enemy bugs on the screen delivers a sense of overwhelming planetary war. That, by just that one thing alone, bought right there. I'm buying that just for that one sentence uh ground war retake bases on refineries destroy hives complete a variety of side objectives to wrest control from the a map away from the bug menace 
I wonder if it's going to be like a strategic campaign sort of kind of thing. Communication is key. The ping system gives players a quick and easy way to call out points of interest, objectives included, and more teammates. What kind of graphics card are you going to need? Actually, that's not too bad. A 1070 with 8 gigs. That's not bad. So if, if you have a mid-range system, be able to play this. Wow. Yeah, so I'm very excited for this, guys. This is... This is... I'm surprised why it's so quiet. Like, I would figure all the websites would be talking about this and doing behind the scenes and everything. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be good. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, now, there's two Starship Troopers games. There's this one. And, of course, uh, you have... Terran Command, which is a strategy game. Uh, I like what uh, Slytherin and the Aristocrats are doing. They're building upon the initial game release. Uh, they're adding... What was it? Um, they're actually making... They're supposed to release uh, a new thing where you can... Um, excuse me. Where is it here? Scenario Editor. With Steam Workshop support. That is huge. Uh, and it's free, too. Uh, the Lava Planet DLC is coming soon. That looks pretty sick. Um, I did a video on this earlier, so if you want to take a look at it. I don't think they released... Did they release it yet? No, they didn't release that um, uh, part yet. But I believe when they release this uh, this DLC, let's see, free content, where you can do scenarios, like make scenarios, build bases, I think that's where this game is going to... Um, I think go from an 88 into the 90s. Because the only thing stopping this game right now from getting into the 90s is once you play it through all the missions, you're done. Like, you could replay them, but that's it. But once they release the scenario editor, it's done. Like, you're going to have tons of people making new content, just putting out all these crazy amount of scenarios. And then once that scenario editor is out there, it's going to be incredible. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Catch the next one. See you then.